Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in front of my dishwasher here and obviously you can see there's something missing. Well the other day my son pulled and tried to open the dishwasher and the entire face fell off. Here's the face, missing buttons, here's all the buttons. I know you can't see it very closely but these two pieces snapped off. So I bought a new one, let's replace it. All right, I'm all done now, but this took me about two hours, mostly because I messed up a few things. So hopefully watching this video, I can save you a lot of time. It should only take a half an hour to fix this faceplate of this Bosch dishwasher. Came in the mail the other day. Let's open it up, see what we have. Brand new, I'll put the link in the description below. Now it's a good thing I kept all the buttons because this didn't come with any buttons. Okay, I just took a little bit longer than I needed to, but you can tell where the pieces broke off. Hopefully you can see that, where they broke off. These tabs along the bottom, are what failed and broke. See if we can get a closer look. These are the tabs that broke off. Now if you can't tell, we just ran the dishwasher. You can see that this says zero, which means it's done. And these are lit up over here. And of course, without the faceplate, you can't tell what it means. So the first thing we have to do is we have to remove this cover. There's a couple of screws inside. I'll walk you through those steps. Now the other thing you have to be careful about is opening this up. There's really nowhere to grab, so I usually just put my fingers in here and pull, but this metal piece is pretty sharp, so just be careful. Put my fingers in here. And the screws are down here. <laughs> there. <laughs> bomb number one. Now the screws that hold the cover on take a special bit. It's a star bit. I just had to go through my kit and find the right size. This is a T15 star bit. It's just the one that fits. All right, I had to stop to take a break for a little bit. First of all, get some coffee. Shout out to my brother and my brother-in-law for being in the Army. Thanks for your service. So what I wanted to do was look up the parts on the internet, on Bosch's website. It was really easy to do. I just typed in the model number, which for this, I'll put it in the link below, but it is SHE55M16UC. And I looked and found that this part is part number 107. I also had to find out what these things were. They're spacers. It's not on the parts list, but I had to do just a little Google search to find out that these are spacers, and they go down here. I think it's to hold the face of this on and keep it a little bit more firm. So that's the next step. Put the spacers on, and then put the faceplate back on, and finish my coffee. By the way, I'm drinking my fat coffee. You can catch out. You can catch out. You can check out the ingredients and how I make my fat coffee in another one of my videos. Okay, a couple key pieces. There's a piece on this faceplate that fits into these specific holes, and I want to line up these brackets with these screws holes here as well. These top tabs fit into these slots right here. And then it should just snap in. I haven't tried this yet. Sometimes I usually do it before I record the video. Let's do it live and see how it works. I don't know what's better, start at the bottom and snap in the top, or start at the, start at the top and snap in the bottom. I don't know. I'll start from the top this time. So I have fit in the tabs into these slots. 
Hopefully you can see this. And then I'll rotate it down, making sure that these tabs fit into these slots on the side. And it looks like it should just snap in place. It's not going in so well, so I'm going to try the opposite way. I don't want to break it. This faceplate was like $140. Okay, now I've snapped in the bottom. My son just woke up. He's staring at me, rolling his eyes. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's just avoiding trying to be in the shot. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Here he goes. So this one worked. So start at the bottom and rotate up to snap in the tabs at the top. That worked the best. Now we can replace the screws. Something doesn't feel right over there. I know you can't see this, but when I press these buttons, they press pretty easily. These two are indented a little bit, and I don't hear any button switch or click like I do with these. So something's wrong with this. I got to take it apart and see what's going on. Another tip, if you're taking this off, I don't, I don't know how to say it. These tabs have a little piece to hold it in. So you have to push it out to remove it. it does not want to come out. Okay, I'm going to plug it in and see if it does anything different. Yeah, something's wrong with it. Okay, we're back. It took me about 45 minutes to find out what was wrong. But I noticed when I plugged it in, if you saw, that once I turned it on, the display read C1. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't look it up. I think it means child lock. Well, these two buttons were depressed and were holding in and weren't releasing. So that was the problem. So then it took me about a half an hour to get the face off. I did break a little piece. It was one of these tabs that fit into here. I don't think that'll be a problem, but let me show you how intricate this is. So this is the back of the faceplate, and each of these buttons, if you look closely, have a letter on them. And on this side, you know the, the different washing levels. Um, these are labeled uh, C, D, E, F, and G, and these are labeled X, Y, and Z. Well, I had them flip. I thought you could just use the buttons anywhere. Well, this is slightly curved or convex, and the buttons are slightly convex as well. Let me show you how I figured that out. So first, I'll show you the letters. So over here, you see a, a C, a D, and a Y. And on this side, you see X, Z, F, or E, F, and G. The other thing you can see is if you hold it this way, they don't match the face. See how this piece isn't lining up like this one? You have three that are flat, and these two don't match. So I have to flip these two. All the things you learn when replacing the face of a Bosch dishwasher. Now that I have replaced them in the correct order, it's upside down, but in alphabetical order, you can see. They are all flush now. Same on this side. All three of those buttons are flush. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Here's the piece that broke off. Just one of these tabs. I don't think it will matter. So let's put it on again. And then rotate it down.
And again, something doesn't feel right. So now this one won't click. That one will. So I don't know if I have the alphabet backwards. I'm going to go in and flip them around and see if that works. Okay, now I've switched the buttons again. Let's see if this works. Oh, beautiful. It works. Let's turn it on. That's a good sign. It's usually how long our cycle lasts, about 116 minutes. Looks good to go. Let's put everything back together. I think I already told you, but these are spacers. Looks like this lip kind of fits up and underneath the handle. Uh, that's another thing. This handle does not have a silver piece on it, so I'm going to grab it from the old one. Here's the old one. Obviously, it's a little dirty. But uh, this is the silver insert on the back. Looks like there's some tabs. Actually, pull the tabs forward. Push it down. Pull it forward. Push that down. Yeah, that kind of slides out. And this piece should come right out. So I'll go ahead and insert that in. I don't know which goes first. The cover plate and then this piece, or this piece, and then the cover plate. Let's see. And that was not easy. But now I will put the handle in. Okay, that should just, it'll just snap right in. All right, let's screw in the faceplate, and we should be done. Last step is to clean the face of this, because it's pretty dirty, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.